Hey guys, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing for you of the Dell Adamo XPS. Thin and light computers are really all the rage nowadays with every manufacturer putting a consumer ultra low voltage chip into laptops which tend to make them weigh a bit less and be a little bit thinner. But none are smaller and none are lighter than the Adamo XPS which actually took the crown of world's thinnest laptop from the MacBook Air. This is gonna run you just shy of $2,000 and that's gonna get you a 1.4 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo ultra low voltage chip, Windows 7 Home Premium 64 bit, four gigs of dual channel DDR3 RAM, 128 gig solid state drive, and all that in a package that weighs just about 3.2 pounds. So very impressive proposition. Let's go ahead and start the unboxing. I'm very curious to see what this thing is going to do. So, bit of a larger size box with a thin laptop. Nothing really to see here yet. We'll use the OBAC to slice the tape. Go ahead and pull this back. It looks like we've got a sort of a designer, almost suede feeling box. Go ahead and pull it out. Push the ugly cardboard off to the side. Here we have the Adamo XPS box. I had a chance to play around with this a little bit at CES and came away pretty impressed. Um, obviously I didn't get a chance to test it spec-wise and see how it performed with uh, streaming video and HD content, but just from a size and aesthetic standpoint, um, was a very impressive device. So we'll go ahead and open this up. It appears that there's a little bit of a tab right here. We'll go ahead and, oh, it's magnetic. Open that up, and here we have the Adamo XPS right on top. This is a review unit that was sent from Dell, so I get to use it for a few months and then send it on back. It looks like it's already been used before. I would assume that probably would come wrapped in some sort of plastic, uh, but very thin. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. Let's see what else we get in the box. Looks like there's that tray does not lift up. There's a drawer here that will slide out. And we'll see what comes in there. And all this again is a very sort of suede feeling box. So here are all the accessories. This comes with, I believe, two separate batteries. Um, one that lasts about two hours and one that's gonna last, they say, up to five hours and 17 minutes with uh, the optional extended battery, uh, which I believe comes in at about 40 watt hours. Um, so let's see what's included. So this is the extended battery, a bit thicker. Here's the standard battery to get you two hours. Um, you can see the size difference, probably more importantly a thickness difference, about twice as thick. We'll keep digging in here and see what else we have. A pretty thin power brick, which looks to have the sort of familiar form factor of this plugging right into the wall. Slide this in. And that goes right into the computer an extender cable as well if you want to use that, and a cloth microfiber to clean the screen. Looks like your obligatory book of discs, probably just uh, restore discs and license stuff. Um, it does come with a few accessories it appears. Looks like we've got a display port to DVI, and the USB to Ethernet port. I'll push those back in the box and got your restall discs and a little book about the XPS. But enough of the accessories. Let's take a look at the laptop itself since that's what I'm looking most forward to and what I assume you guys are here to see. So I'll push all the boxing off to the side and let's take a look at the Adamo XPS. So this has sort of a, a few very interesting things to it. Um, the first thing that it has is a capacitive latch right here, which won't work because I don't have the battery plugged in, but I'll show you how that looks and functions in just a minute. Also has a sort of a unique design. Let's go ahead and put the battery in and see if we can open this thing up to see what it looks like. Um, another point of note with the Adamo XPS is that there's actually a small internal battery, which makes the batteries hot swappable. So if you can pull the bat battery out and put in a new one within 30 seconds, you won't lose any of your data, which is kind of nice. Let's go ahead and put in the uh, thinner battery for starters. Hopefully it has enough charge in it to power up the lock. 
It looks like that just slides on in, nice and easy. Okay, so let's do a quick tour of the device. On the left hand side, you've got your display port with one of the two USBs. Looks like a bit of a fan. Nothing in the front except for that capacitive latch. I'll show you in just a moment. On the right side, you've got another fan. There's your audio in and out, so that's for microphone ports as well. Looks like I'm touching the splash there. And we've got a USB port and power. So let me give you a quick comparison, uh, laptop for laptop size, with let's say a MacBook or a MacBook Pro of the modern generation, which weighs just about 4.5 pounds compared to the 3.2 of the Adamo XPS. So this is a 13 inch model. This is a 13 inch Adamo XPS as well. You can see it's a little bit longer and uh, you'll see why in just a minute. And from a thinness standpoint, you can really see the difference. Well, they almost look like distant cousins here, aluminum on aluminum. Okay, so the capacitive latch here is kind of interesting. You go ahead and take your finger and swipe it right across. And a little blue light shows up at the bottom. I'm not sure if you saw that. It lets you open up the latch. Looks like this is a, a new review unit, actually. It's got sort of an ergonomic look and feel to the device. So go ahead and peel this off. Push that off. So it actually puts it up at an angle, if you can see, which is kind of interesting. It makes typing, you know, I assume it'll be a little bit more ergonomic, but I want to use it to really get a chance to be a judge. The keyboard here is a bit of a different font on the keys. It's actually, it's a metal capped keyboard feel, um, which we'll see how that feels. Um, very thin, sort of sits up. I'm curious if you can use this on your lap or not. I'll definitely run it through some tests and show you how this works sort of sitting on your lap. The vents on the side we saw, and probably wondering where are the speakers? Well, that's sort of an interesting question. The speakers on this, since sort of its unique form factor, are on the bottom. They're downward facing. Kind of curious how speakers can sound on a device that's this thin. Let's go ahead and open it up one more time. You've got a two megapixel, two megapixel webcam up top which is of course integrated. You've got, I believe is a multi-touch trackpad with the Windows two buttons that's where you're used to seeing um, on most Windows laptops. Uh, the full dimensions of this, we're looking at 340 by 273.9 by 999, uh, which is very, very thin. Um, the screen is 16 by nine WLED, is a 720p display. So again, I'm very curious to see how this thing looks and how it works. I'm going to run it through a full gamut of tests and I'll show you everything, including how it handles HD playback, video streaming, um, keyboard with you use it on your lap, and how it stands up as sort of a daily driver. The XPS line is sort of Dell's top of the line for all their models. This is the top of the line Adamo. Uh, one thing let's check before we stop this unboxing is a keyboard flex. You'd think that with just two hinges right here and that all that space on the bottom, the keyboard is going to flex when we type. Let's turn it off to the side so you can see, and let's see if it actually does do that. So I'm pushing in here. It doesn't appear to be moving at all. Not much at all either when typing. It um, actually has a pretty solid feel to it. The keyboard looks like it might take a bit of getting used to. The reason the laptop itself is a little bit longer is because the screen is actually sunk in. The keyboard goes right into the screen. That accounts for that additional real estate on the sides and down below. So guys, this is an unboxing of the Dell Adamo XPS. Definitely stay tuned to the channel and Techno Buffalo for a ton of XPS news and coverage coming up. Like I said, I'll be running this through a whole bunch of tests. Anyway, for exclusive content, be sure to check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash john lakers And for all your tech needs, definitely check out Techno Buffalo, where you can create and monetize your own tech sublog. I'm John Rettinger, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.